Hello, church. I want to give you an introduction to Psalms chapter 2. Hope this series uh, deepens our personal relationship with God. I hope that as you hear the psalmist's heart and his prayers and his songs of worship and his struggles through life and his struggles in his relationship with God, that uh, you'll be comforted, you'll be encouraged, and you'll also be able to uh, see a mirror of yourself and understand how God is working in your life and how you can uh, be closer to God and even understand God through the eyes of David and the psalmist. In Psalms chapter 2 verse 1 it says, why did the nations conspire and the people plot in vain? God's authority seems to always be challenged by nations, by wicked people, by governments, by corporations. Everybody tries to ignore God. They try to uh, live as if uh, he's uh, sort of inept or uninvolved and he's just up in the spiritual realm watching. But God cares and God's faithful and God's involved in our lives. And God wants us to understand him. He wants us to be close to him. He wants to work actively in our lives for our blessing and for our benefit. And so this is a great psalm because it helps us understand how the world rejects God's authority and how we need to submit to God's authority, how we need to be submissive people to God and be obedient to God and understand that God intends to bless us and to help us prosper and to to uh, have influence in our lives that uh, bring us good things if we'll let him. And so, you know, chapter uh, 2, verse 2, it just talks about all the different uh, peoples that uh, rebel against God's authority. And uh, uh, then uh, beginning in, chap in chapter 2, verse 4 through 6, it talks about how God responds to that. He doesn't appreciate it. He rebukes him and it describes his anger and, and his response. And so one of the discussion questions I want us to consider is uh, uh, why do we think people reject God's authority and are we tempted to rebel? And are we naturally compliant or are we naturally uh, uh, rebellious? And uh, have we ever suffered consequences for rebelling against authority? And what lessons did we learn from that? And uh, can we recall a time when we really submitted to God and we were blessed for it? And uh, we we were obedient and we saw the reward of uh, being obedient. And uh, just share that with your group. And and uh, it talks about God's promise to believers for being submissive and obedient to him and to his authority. And then it talks about God's wish and warning at the end for all people and how we need to serve the Lord with fear. We need to uh, serve with reverence and that we need to celebrate his rule with trembling. We need to praise him sincerely and worship him submissively. And uh, then I just have reference in uh, this lesson to the first uh, three of the commandments from the Ten Commandments, the ones that talk about uh, worshiping God. You should ha have no other gods before me, Exodus 22 and 3, and then... Uh, uh, you should have no uh, uh, graven or carved images uh, and then uh, uh, worship uh, God and never take his name in vain in verse 7 and then verses 8 and 11. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And so uh, I think you'll enjoy this lesson. I think it will uh, prove to be a, a great discussion starter for uh, our uh, uh, understanding of God and uh, what's what really comes out uh, strong and clear in this lesson is that uh, God is powerful, God's patient, he's watching, he's a judge, and yet he's fair. He's powerful and he's patient, he's watching, he's but and it, but he's fair. He's always fair. Amen. Have a great midweek. Have a great time together. Amen. See you on Sunday.